Hey guys, it's Peter here. Today I'll be going over the 7th most popular kata or code challenge on Code Wars. This problem is called Who Likes It? And the instructions are, you probably know the like system from Facebook and other pages. People can like blog posts, pictures, or other items. We want to create the text that should be displayed next to such an item. Implement the function likes which takes an array containing the names of people that like an item. It must return the display text as shown in the examples. Okay, so basically we want to take a list of names and format them into strings that match the example displays. This is not a very algorithmic problem, so I'll go ahead and show you my preferred way of solving this code challenge. Since the format of the string seems to be determined by the number of names in the list, I will set a variable n to be the length of the list. This way, I don't have to call the len function over and over again. Now, depending on the length of the list or n, we just need to return the correct string format. So first, in Python, we usually like to use the not operator to check for an empty list. You can of course use a more standard way and check if n equal equals zero. It's up to your own code style preference. The formatting for lengths 1, 2, and 3 are quite similar, so I'll just quickly go over them here. Notice I like to use f-strings for formatting the strings. f-strings are the most readable, concise, and efficient way of formatting strings in Python. It was introduced rather recently in Python 3.6, so you'll probably still see a ton of code on the internet using older formatting methods but I highly recommend using f-strings if you're using Python 3.6 and above. Okay, so once we finish checking for lists with lengths 0, 1, 2, and 3, the rest will be lists with lengths that are 4 or greater. We don't need an if statement or even an else statement for this part because anything that has a length less than 4 will already be returned by the function. So return the first name second name, and n minus 2 others like this. We use n minus 2 because the first and second names are excluded from this count. Alright, and that's it. Although not a very algorithmic challenge, knowing how to easily and efficiently format strings is an essential skill for becoming a great programmer. I hope you learned a bit about Python specific code styles and language features from this video. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask them in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next coding video. Thanks!